is the Grimm family with iron ore. Now, when they tested this robot for the qualifiers, right was going left and left was going right, so uh, fingers crossed. From Loham in Somerset, iron ore. The Grimm family have their mighty axe weapon, a zero-turning circle. It's electrically powered. Most parts come from packaging machinery. They have steering problems. But could this be the Grim Reaper of the competition? Hello, I'm Gilbert. This is my son, Robert. This is our robot, Iron Ore. The main weapon's a very powerful axe, which uh, is powered by CO2. At 175 PSI, large four cylinder very powerful, chops through steel quite nicely. It's a track vehicle, uh, run from the Bosch 750 watt motors. Very useful piece of machinery. Roboteers, stand by. Mortis, Rob Knight, the team captain, Arthur Chilcott, and Paul Ford there in the middle. Mazakari, the students, Richard Neely, Phil Sievers, Phil Neely, the dad, and Iron Ore with Gilbert and Robert Grimm. Three, two, one, activate. A fairy tale end, or a grim end. And the father and son team from Somerset with iron ore, but it's Mazakari attacked immediately by Mortis, who say they've been having problems with the axe. The axe comes out. So too does the weapon of iron ore, CO2 powered. Somerset, you can see there, written across the top of iron ore. Oh, they trade blow for blow. Don't forget, Mortis have the lifting arm as well to flip Mazakari up and over. Can the students of the Queen Elizabeth Sixth Form College get Mazakari working properly? Flipped up and over. Again, a pincer attack there, really, on Mazakari. This is how it started. Mortis in and under it, flipping Mazakari over. Mortis with that great lifting arm. It can hoist 100 kilos. Just seen there the Iron Ore team. Mazakari being pushed around between Mortis and Iron Ore so that the axes can come into play once again. This is Mortis underneath Mazakari once again. The lifting arm takes a grappling hold, turning and twisting, and then pushing onto Iron Ore. They're almost twinning up here against poor old Mazakari. This is Killer Lot. The ref bot goes in to have a close. Is anything untoward happening? Yes, of course, it's Robot Wars! Plenty of things going on untoward, we hope. Iron Ore watches on. Quite rightly, Killalot's had a look at the Red Box. Can you see the Red Box scuttle away there? This Killalot had a glaring look. This is towards Shunt. There's no, no hope for Mazakari, I'm afraid. The great weapon of Shunt there. Now, Killalot. Eyeball to eyeball, Mazakari picked up by Mortis, shut there to the right-hand side. Uh, iron Ore dangerously close towards the pit. Dangerously close towards the pit. Dead Metal and Killalot combine over the pit for Iron Ore. Spinning around, Killalot, look at this. Toying with it, slamming it to the ground in the arena floor. Seconds to go, Mazakari's wheel still spinning. A lick of flame from Bash. Iron Ore, who's immobilised here? Who was immobilised the first? Boys from Somerset, Mazakari from Darlington. Well, I wouldn't want to call that one, so it's over to the judges. Our university boffins, Martin Smith on the left, Professor Noel Shark in the middle, Dr Myra Wilson on the right. Now peers on. So, style, control, damage and aggression, that's what they're marking. Uh, Mazakari. Certainly taking damage throughout the contest, probably more than Iron Ore. Iron Ore was the more aggressive. I think Mazakari in danger. Look at that damage sustained. And again, that time from Bash. Well, the decision is unanimous. Mazakari is eliminated. Gilbert and Robert from Somerset. Have you had any technical problems preparing for this round? Oh, kill off scraped us a bit, but nothing too serious. Uh, not as bad as the first bit where we had a pressure regulator fail. That was a bit worrying. What does that mean for you if your pressure regulator fails? Oh, that controls the uh, 
part of the axe, so it would have been without a weapon without that. Key? Oh, absolutely. So if there's no pressure, there's no force in the that's axe? That's right, yeah. Mm. But that's sorted? That's sorted. And you're confident that you're going to get yep. through this round? Yep, all ready to go. Because I know it's your ambition to win Robot Wars. Well, it, it would be nice, but uh, maybe not this year. <laughs> maybe wait for next year. But, Come so. on, guys, <laughs> don't give up yet. Roboteers, stand by. Will they be iron all washed up from Somerset? Father and son, the Grimms. Stake two. Rob Heesman, Dan King, Peter Rowe in there. Three, two, one, activate. Well, a very slow, not too steady start. That's the slowest we've had in Robot Wars. Especially the mutual respect, gauging each other out, I wonder. We're all just standing, watching stake two. This is tempted to blow the axe! Oh, goodness me! That's power from stake two, CO2 power flip, but iron all rights itself using the axe! They're jumping around there like firecrackers! Look at it! Like Mexican beans out there! In goes Stake 2 again. Iron Ore flipping itself up. <laughs> and they jump again. Terrific stuff. Now Iron Ore, the axe blade comes down. They jump once again. Is there an earthquake out there, I wonder, on the arena floor? Hardly. Will the earth move for either of these robots as they try and get through? Series semi final, don't forget. That's the aim here in this heat. That's always a worry. They know the pit is there when it starts to descend. Very tentative stuff, though. They may be leaping around a little bit, but it's ponderous. Iron ore up onto its side. Steg two, trying to justify its number seven seeding in the competition. See, they're the tracks of iron ore. That's a comparative rarity these days, a track robot in Robot Wars. Iron ore, huge by dead metal. Can't get the axe to work. Had the problems early on. Now the axe comes down, a little bit too late. Perhaps, oh, goodness me, shunt on the attack. And Matilda's toppled over. Step two, getting in underneath and showing us Matilda's underbelly. Do we really want to see it? I don't think so. The blade has gone from Iron Ore! Have a look at this! Children, don't have nightmares with what you're going to see in Matilda's underbelly, please. But kid a lot, exact revenge, and Iron Ore's weapon goes snapped off like some flower stalk there. Flower power! Iron Ore turns Robot War hippie! And the Grimm Brothers, hippies that'll hold your leggies on in Robot Wars, you're out of it. Both robots are still moving at the end, so we've gone for a judge's decision. But whilst they make a decision, let's look at some of the highlights of that bruising encounter. Robot Wars fleas hopping and leaping around the arena floor they were early on. Who was the more aggressive here? <laughs> Style and control? Are you sure? But at the end, look at the damage sustained by Iron Ore. I think that's terminal, really. Oh, yeah. The judges have chosen Steg 2! Well, class, I mean, that hammer looked like an awesome weapon. You were bashing that thing with it, but it, it didn't seem to make a mark. And then, of course, you mess with Killer Lot and you, don't, <laughs> and you lose your axe altogether. Yeah, it's, um, it's a matter of hitting them in the right place. It's uh, obviously a bit difficult. And we lost power for the drive for the batteries at the end, so we just sort of. Uh, can get out of the way. Run out of steam. Yep. You'll be back next time, won't you? Oh, definitely. Bigger, better, and harder. And I'll have to kill a lot. All right, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hiya, I'm Natalie, and this is my robot, Iron Ore. These are my two people who've made it. This is Gilbert, Hello. and this is Robert, Hi. and they've been doing a great job all day. This is my number plate. We've got a number plate. It says Nat 1 on it. I'm learning to drive at the moment. And on the side, I don't know where they're drawn, but we've got, like, learner stuff on it, you can see. So I'm learning to drive. This is the axe. This is my weapon on my robot. And um, once that comes off, apparently it's deadly, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so all I want to do is beat everyone, really. Natalie, what is going on? You're meant to be getting in that arena any second now. I cannot believe what is happening. <laughs> it's always me. It's always me, right? 
We was over there about five minutes ago, getting ready, sort it out, fine. Suddenly, the, the two front wheels sort of jam. <laughs> and we're nowhere, we're not even on the floor. We wasn't even doing anything. I was like, what is going on? <sighs> so, basically, what they've done is uh, Robert and Gilbert have sorted it out now and they're just putting it all back together. So, hopefully, she's going to be all right. Please welcome Natalie Cassidy and the Iron Ore team. <laughs> On. Again with a zero turning circle, it's electrically powered and most parts come from packaging machinery. The weapon's an axe. It runs on tracks as well as those buckled wheels. Roboteers, stand by. There's Pussycat with Adam at the controls. He's a massive Robot Wars fan. And Iron Ore and Natalie, Three, who's two, learning to drive. One. Activate. Hence the L blade, hence the nat one on the back of Iron Ore there. Pussycat coming to meet Iron Ore. Very slow and steady progress. In comes Pussycat. We hope to see the blade with Adam at the controls. Doesn't seem to be working at the moment. In it comes again. There's a bag of fish and chips, by the way, attached to the bed. Oh, well, they've had their chips already. From Ian Bill Shippy, of course. Natalie's handed over the controls there. Oh! To Robert Grimm. Now he's a Liverpool fan, and so is Adam, by the way. Well, I'm not too sure whether the blade is working, but they're on the attack again on Iron Ore and Natalie. Oh no! Oh! It certainly is. Now one has been crumpled and torn. No wonder she's got L plate stickers on there. Now that's dead metal, and it's grappled the axe of Iron Ore. I wonder if it'll be iron all washed up here. Well, they thought they ironed out their problems, but they haven't. Perhaps they are a little bit iron-fisted in their approach. It's not all over till it's over. It is now. I've always wanted to say that, by the way. Oh, and I think there's more mayhem for iron all. Look at this. Killerlock came in and snapped off the axe. Just snapped it clean off. Oh, poor old Natalie and the Iron Ore team. And that is the pit of oblivion. It's a big pool. And it looks very much now as if Adam Woodgett, Ian Beale, oh! has won. Oh, no, she cries. Oh, yes! That's the beauty of Robot Wars, Natalie! You're in the pit. That was not you. You have a good show, right? Gets turned into scrap metal. The Pussycat team go through with Adam Woodyat. <laughs> nah. Sorry, it was nothing. It was just pure bullying, it wasn't, wasn't it? It wasn't my fault. I promise everyone it wasn't. What, what happened? No, the battery ran out um, halfway through, and um, some horrible creature cut our axe off, our weapon, and axe went was on fire. Oh, you were toast in the end. Absolutely I mean, the thing was gone. smouldering, right? Look at it. I know. I can't believe it. I really liked it as well. I'd like to take it home, though, but there we go. Adam marches on. Well done.